So this is going to be a quick video. Welcome back internet. Got another um, tabletop unboxing video. Unboxing slash review. I was at Aldi because I go grocery shopping there. And uh, they had this on clearance. So this is five bucks, give or take a little bit. And it's waterproofing smartphone case. I don't think it's going to fit mine with my outer box on it. But uh, we're going to open it up and see. I mean, it's definitely worth it. Even if I don't wind up putting um, my smartphone in it. Interesting note, if you ever make anything, this heavy duty PET plastic, it's almost indestructible. So it'd be great to make things out of it. Like little uh, connectors, fasteners, or all sorts of different stuff. Oh snap, because it landed. So I sometimes I save some of the bigger stuff like this if I ever need to make something with it. Sometimes I don't. Depends on how much I have. Alright, so we get two bags, two lanterns. What does it say here? Try to avoid strong shock or sharp objects during use. Do not use them in their sun for a long time and don't use them in hot tubs. Well, that's an interesting direction. I, uh, I kind of want to use it in a hot tub now. I go to the gym and I always kind of want to take my phone in there. It's kind of awkward having to look at other dudes in the hot tub. Um, so it's touch friendly but doesn't do touch ID. Well, that makes sense. Let's see what we got here. Some branding. That's how that opens. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay. And whatever it is, it just slides in there. So I guess I should get. Um, bucket of water or something, we can test it. Oh no, this is a lanyard. Holy, what the... Oh, there we go. Okay. Sweet. That's a pretty heavy duty lanyard. So I'm going to get something to put in it and we'll get uh, some water and then do a test. Alright, and we're back. So, my normal phone, it's a Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Yeah, it's kind of old, but you know what? It's rooted and it works. And it is too big. Does not fit. Which doesn't surprise me, almost too big for almost everything. A more modern phone, even with a case, is a lot more narrower. So, I got some other doodads that uh, we'll see how that works. So, I've got this is a flashcard reader. Flash card, <clears throat> sorry, USB stick. This is a flash card. Another USB stick. Try to do this on camera here. So it looks like you feed it through and then you cinch it down. Alright, and then I got. So we have two bags. This is a dollar store light. Turn it on. Stick it in the bag. You see it's on. Put it in there too. Seals the air in there. 
I don't see any bubbles coming out. Oh, that one's got bubbles. What kind of bubbles are those about? So remember this uh, Dollar Tree light, you see it going out? That's because it's uh, you can touch it and that's how you turn it on and off. So that's just that's just me. Um, aside from a couple bubbles that happen on the plastic, I don't see it doing anything. Um, they do have pretty good buoyancy. Let's turn that off. Right, I'll shake it out. I don't see any water puddled up in the bottom. Those are all drops on the outside. I mean, it's not hard to make a dry bag. It looks like they made some good ones. I mean, that's what all he does is they make good stuff and make it cheap. So, uh, yeah. If I won't be using it for a phone, but I'm going to be using it for, you know, stuff like this. Um, it's great for stuff like this. Or you can put some ID or some cash or, I mean, it's a baggie. You can put all sorts of stuff in it. And at $5 for two of them, that is an outstanding deal. So I definitely recommend it. And uh, that's pretty much the end of it. Um, like, comment, subscribe, dislike. Tell me what I did wrong. I'll see you on the next one.